Uh, I'll be team. honest, I, Andre, I don't know a lot about Marcus in this match, but Jan, I can talk a lot about Jan. He's very well known as uh, an MMA fighter from Novo Union. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he's in the UFC. He fought in the Ultimate Fighter of Brazil. Uh, did very well. Great jiu-jitsu. Um, in MMA, he's more of a, of a top guy. You know, a lot of knee slides, a lot of uh, katagatamas, um, so arm triangles. But, uh, but with the gi, he, he does tend to prefer the guard, open game, takes the back really well, uh, chokes from the back really well. Um, maybe his MMA game has influenced uh, his jiu-jitsu now, you know, he's, he's uh, competing with the gi, hasn't done it in a while. Uh, you see, actually, he's going for knee slides and, and, and guard passing here. He chose not to pull guard. So, uh, yeah. I interviewed Jan Cabral a number of years ago to discuss his style of jiu-jitsu even though he is an mma competitor trains there in rio de janeiro with the novo Real team great ufc fighters and former champions jan cabral said that it is it is obligatory that the mma team must train at least once a week in the gi well, i didn't know it was obligatory i thought it, they just train because they like it that's interesting uh, that uh, the the uh, the makes them makes them get the game. That's, uh, that would be an interesting uh, you should go there and film that that would be very interesting to watch how um, how it affects their game you know we we, we know Aldo has, uh, has you know even in, in jiu jitsu um, with the gi he was always a passer it's, it would be nice to see if he's did any changes to his game with the gi and Leo Santos you know he's always been a butterfly guard in MMA, he plays a little bit more of a top game. Well, the Novo out team, they're such amazing MMA fighters, but the incredible thing is that so many of these guys are actually very accomplished black belts in the gi, and that's two points for Jan Cabral on the board. A good scramble here. He wants to take the back. It's one of his um, favorite controls. He's very good at choking from the back. Uh, a very good scramble. He was attempting that, but I think they're going to be uh, stood up. I can see that Marcus trains with the uh, with, uh, BJJ Globe Chokers. It's a um, very interesting um, association. They have no bonds with any uh, Jiu Jitsu team, they, they, everybody trains with everybody. It's an interesting concept. Well, Jan Cabral, based out of Rio de Janeiro, where he lives in Brazil. However, a very strong link to Europe. He's got a, a large network of, of clubs as part of his Arania Association. And with a very strong presence in Spain. And there is a butterfly guard sweep from Jan Cabral. That's another two points on the board now. Yeah, butterfly guard is very novel on you. <laughs> um, yeah, he's uh, Ian actually lived in Spain for a few years, uh, setting up his team. I believe um, brought a number of competitors with him this week. Yeah, we've exactly. We've yeah. seen a lot of the of the Arana Association competitors yeah. here in action over the last couple of days. And right now, Jan Cabral with two and a half minutes down in this middleweight match, mm. riding a four-point lead, two advantages on the board also, Almost and in complete control, almost into the mount here, looking to free that leg. But no, Marcus manages to recover, half guard, but still strong upper body control from Jan Cabral, great pressure here. Strong grip around the back, controlling that upper body again, looking to drive that knee over to the other side is Jan Cabral, and now switching sides to like a knee cut pass. Freeing that leg. There it is, that's going to be three points on the board for a pass. Yep, referee puts it on. Now, seven points ahead. He's a good finisher, uh, Ian, I think he, he, we will see him trying to push for that finish soon. He's always been a very entertaining uh, Jiu-Jitsu competitor. Walking round to the north-south position, using that head to keep Marcus down, but Marcus manages to come up to the knees. Looks like he could have a gi choke here. Yeah. There it is, working round 
up to their feet, but the choke was sunk in. Yankra Brown gets the tap a little under four minutes into that match, right in a seven point lead, and then finishing with a very interesting key choke there. Very creative collar choke, very interesting. Yeah. Nobody has always been, uh, used to be known in the, in the late 90s, early 20s for their you know, developments with, with collars. And yeah, I think uh, Ian Cabal comes from that old school. Uh, no one yell. Really putting that to work here. And there we see the replay there of the key choke passing it around, allowing the opponent to think that they can escape by coming up to their feet and getting the submission in the middleweight division is Janka Brown.